I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what convert any string to binary character. Suppose if I enter the string AB, then output must become this all. So I tell ASCII and binary character. So this is A. So binary value is this all. And here for B, this is the binary value. So let's write the code to convert any a string into binary character. At here, I am using code blocks. So inside the uh, main function, let's uh, take uh, three integer variable. First is i, next j, and c. Here after, let's write printer function, bri printer. And here after, in double quote, I am going to write enter any a string. And here after I am going to take char variable str and giving the size 55. So right here I am giving the size 55. So maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. If you want more than here, you can increase the size. So if you enter more than 55, then array index auto bond exception come. So next next is a scanner function. So inside of a scanner function, percent as percent as because uh, str is uh, char time. So I'm going to give str. So here you can write to ampersand str or str only. It won't affect anything with. So both are. If you give a percent str, so it's okay. Without, it's also okay. Now here after, let's write one more time printer function. So percent as and here converted to converted into binary is. So I tell uh, ampersand as convert. I tell I'm using mod operator, mod operator as converter into binary. Mod operator as because str is a st uh, character. And here after, let's see right for loop. So I tell I, I'm in a slash to or start from one. And here giving the condition str of I not equal to null. If str of i become null, then condition false. Then or that out from for loop. So inside of for loop body, I'm going to give c equal to str of i. So whatever str of i value that go to c. And here after let's take one more for loop. And here j start from 7. And here giving the condition j plus 1. And j minus minus. So j plus 1 greater than 0. So this is the condition. And here after inside of inner for loop. I am going to write if or c greater than equal to 1 left shift j. So here after c equal to c minus 1 left shift j. And here after if or condition is to that coincide so that do the operation c equal to c minus 1 left shift j so condition is to then that print 1 or else if condition is not true then that print 0 so this is the code of 
convert any string to binary character so let's execute the program so idea first So I am going to into A. Let's check A. So A converted into binary, the output or uh, 0, 1, and here. This is 5 times 0, 1. Here also 0, 1. And uh, this is 3, 5 times 0, 1. So suppose if I execute the code again, here I enter capital A, B. Then the output come. So this is the value of A. This one. Here. And this is the value of B. So getting the expected output. So right here you can just I'm going to enter a string H E double L. So this is a converter into binary. So hello converter into binary. So this is the value. So this is the code about how to convert any string into binary character. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.